Hey guys, welcome back to Pokemon Leaf Green Randomizer Nuzlocke. We're here on Route 14, and like I said in the last episode, we're going to finish off our training here for Concha in this episode. So it's kind of going to be another filler episode, but uh, not really. Um, I gave the quick claw to uh, Concha for now. I'll put it. I'll probably put it back on Ricardo, and that was the wrong move. Oh gosh, um, that was uh, definitely the wrong move. But, I'm gonna put it on, uh, Concha for now, just for the training, and then probably later move it back. But, the, but one thing I really, really need to do is I need to get Belly Drum out of, uh, the first move slot, because I'm going to find myself using it by accident, like, so often. So, uh, Biker Malik with a Celebi, um, yeah, don't want to accidentally hit Belly Drum there. Yawn is always a good move for putting stuff like Celebi to sleep uh, while it just keeps trying to use Recover, I don't know why. Now while it's asleep we can use Belly Drum as it switches to Venusaur, okay, um, Headbutt, Razor Leaf won't do that much to us. Headbutt to finish it off. And Celebi is asleep, right? Yeah, Celebi's asleep, so... Oh, it has Natural Cure. I forget that. Um, okay, we'll just headbutt while it recovers. Natural Cure is a pretty awesome ability. Fully heals status upon switching out. I forgot about that. So, you can use Natural Cure. The best use I've found for it was on a Shaman. Shaman Landform in a competitive team, and that Shaman can basically just stall the crap out of you with Leech Seed and stuff like that. So yeah, I'm just uh, wasting Hyper Potions because I like to uh, spam Belly Drum today for some reason. And I'm, I'm really anxious to finish this recording and uh, get the episode done with because I have a uh, a big uh, double chocolatey chunk Rice Krispie Treat waiting for me as soon as I finish this recording, so I'm uh, really looking forward to that. Um, we have an Arcanine, and because we have Thick Fat, its fire moves aren't going to do very much to us. And I... wrong button. Okay, we'll... we'll finish you off with Ricardo. Might as well, because we're already in here. Instead of switching back. So, okay. Experience split a bit there. Concha level 29, going to learn Snore. Good attacking move while we're asleep. Because we'll be using Rest to go to sleep, we can use Snore to attack while we're asleep. It's actually not a bad move on something like Snorlax with high attack. I think I'll get rid of Belly Drum for it, just because losing half our health to boost our attack really isn't something I like doing. So, now we have Snore if we'd ever use it. Um, what's my health at? Not bad. Okay. So, oh yeah, there, there are a set of twins here. Uh, I guess we'll use Liz, because she's here. This is Jan and Kiri, two little preschool-looking girls who have an Ensploud and a Charizard. Dang. Uh, these guys are powerful. Uh, I suppose we'll finish them off here. Roll out. If it would hit on Charizard, it would be a kill because we're such high above in level that it doesn't matter. And I used roll out on the wrong Pokemon. Oh well. No big deal. Now we'll get that roll out in. And now it's going to lock into Charizard and it'll kill. I think Rollout hits a random target. I could be wrong on that. Now, Outrage. Moves like Outrage hit random targets, but uh, Rollout does not, I believe. Okay, so we're still good on health for Concha. And because of Concha's experience group, it's going to take a long time to train up. Like, longer than uh, most Pokemon. Uh, because we only have Headbutt as an attacking move right now, it's going to take a long time to take some stuff out, so, um, maybe not the best idea to only have Headbutt right now. I could rest and then use Snore, but Cradle is still not going to go down very easily. Plus, we'll have to be, like, we'll have to be asleep to even attack, and Snore isn't going to do very much, so we, we need some more PP, that's for sure. Um, you know what, might as well use Rest. This Cradley's not going to do anything useful to us. 
There we go. It's just gonna heal with ingrain, and we can maybe hit it with snore while we're asleep. Okay, that's not bad. It might, it might kill it this next turn. We'll find out. It'll be close. But then when we wake up, we don't have anything to attack with. So, um, do I have an ether? Because I'd have to do a lot of going back and healing because Headbutt's my only attack. I know I have an Aether, though. I have to. Five of them. Okay, that's good. Uh, we'll restore PP on Headbutt. And then finish it off. Yeah, this is taking a while. I could just use all these Aethers because I've really... Like, I always save my Aethers because they could come in handy on, like, Elite Four and stuff. But then I never end up using them just because... I don't know. I never need that much PP. I mean, something like a, a Matt's Aether, you heal up PP and then pretty much you don't need to heal up PP anymore because, let's face it, you're not going to use more than like the same move 20 times. So, yeah. Uh, Venonat with Reflect still up. It goes down because the critical. Okay. And then another x -Cloud. That's the second one this episode. And this one's gonna go down with Headbutt. And this turn? Yeah, we'll definitely need to do some uh, PP healing. So, um, I'm just going to uh, fly right over here to Fuchsia City and heal up here for PP and then go back and I guess take out the route in the other direction, because it doesn't really matter. We're taking out all those trainers anyway. And then at the end of the episode, if I still need to, I'll just do some normal training on wild Pokemon. Because we gotta get Concha up to at least high 30s. And something like a Rhydon is not the best thing to use to train. So we'll use Liz and finish it off with well, a water gun would have done the trick because it's a ride on. Alright, so more experience, and now we'll switch back to Concha and hope we don't get more rock and steel types thrown at us because the experience has to be split. Water gun ain't doing shit to us. Wingull, so weak. And then Nidoran, female, that is going down as well. And, of course, we get poisoned because we have Thick Fat instead of Immunity. Immunity... I don't know if Immunity is really a be the better ability of the two, but preventing yourself from being poisoned is really nice, especially, like, competitively. Because a lot of stuff will try to use Toxic on a Snorlax because it, it, it's hard, it's tough to go down, tough to take down, whatever. But... Not being able to be poisoned basically means... I don't know, Snorlax doesn't really fear being poisoned anyway because it can rest off the, the poison and the damage and everything, so... Maybe Thick Fat is better because the resistance to fire and ice can kind of... It's just two extra resistances giving it more ways to stop other... other Pokemon from just ripping through it because... Typically you just switch to a fighting Pokemon, but if you don't have a fighting type with a strong enough attack, like, something like a Mog Punch isn't gonna work. You need, like, a Machamp with Dynamic Punch to take this thing out in one hit. And of course, of course we get our accuracy, like, lowered completely down the tubes with a Latios coming out. I'm just gonna put it to sleep and then do something. Okay, now we're paralyzed. Protect against our headbutt to stall us out of PP, which actually doesn't work because we get fully paralyzed. Man, Latios took that much damage from a headbutt from Snorlax. That is how powerful Snorlax is. Now we just have to hit him. We just have to hit him with our final with our final move. Come on. Come on, hit. Hit already. Ugh. Come on. Ah, uh, rest. While it uses Protect, we'll rest up. Of course, fully paralyzed. Come on. There we go. Rest can't miss. And Snore might be enough to take out Latios. Come on. And we miss. Okay. Latios with Protect 
God damn it, stop using protect. Oh, we're waking up this turn. Damn it. This is taking much longer than it should have. Okay, there we go. We hit with our final PP. You know what that means. Two trainers and I have to go back again already. Um, it's, it's actually faster to fly to the Pokemon Center because you have to go all the way around here, but might as well run. We'll probably have to heal about four more times for PP in this episode. This is going to be like the record. But yeah, so today I had my last final. My final final. So I am uh, done with school for the year. And the next time I'll be inside a school. Well, I don't know if it's actually in the school, but I'm going to my cousin's graduation up in Michigan in about two weeks. Okay, do not use safeguard, please. Please do not use safeguard. That's the only way I can take you out. Okay, Wobbuffet goes to sleep, and now we can use Headbutt. Because if it would have used safeguard, we couldn't put it to sleep. It woke up from the sleep a turn too early. We would have died if it used counter there. Oh my gosh, have I mentioned that Wobbuffet is so annoying? Okay, but anyway, like I said, I'm going up to my cousin's graduation up in Michigan, and I don't know if we're actually going to be able to go to the graduation because of how many tickets they can get. So pretty much, we're just going up to, like, spend the weekend with family and just people I haven't seen in, like, nine years. Well, a little less than that, but I haven't seen my cousin in nine years since I went up there on... Uh, break once because we actually got flooded down here, so I had to basically go stay up north with my cousin for like a month. That was kind of fun, I guess. Of course, the flood wasn't fun. And no, I'm not talking about flood like in Super Mario Sunshine, also a game I've never played. There's just so many games I haven't played, and I really want to change that, but that would require of course, getting more games, and the longer you wait, the more expensive these games get, unless you can, like, get them used and stuff. Okay, Body Slam, 85 power, more than Headbutt, it also gives us more PP to work with. Also, that Paralysis Chance is really nice, seeing how slow Snorlax is. I think I'll teach it over Snore, just because having to be asleep to attack, when we can just wake up with the Pokey Flute anyway, not really worth it. Okay, so I'll probably get uh, Snorlax up to like 38 just because Snorlax is powerful enough where it doesn't need to be quite as high as the other members of my party to be useful. I mean, it's it's useful. It was useful at 27. So it's, it's going to be incredibly useful at 40 if it gets there. Skitty. Have to take this out as fast as possible. There we go. Uh, Snorlax, I don't know if it's faster than something like a Skitty, because Snorlax isn't very fast, but of course we have that quick claw and the paralysis with Body Slam. I love it. I love Snorlax already. Of course, I always did like Snorlax. I just never really used one, because I always kind of saw it as legendary. Some kind of, like, blocking Pokemon. Like, I never used the Sudowoodo either. So... In this run, I'm using all kinds of Pokemon I've never used before. Sudowoodo and uh, Snorlax. And of course, I've never used uh, a Seeking. And I've never used a Walrein in a normal gameplay. I've used one on a competitive team before. Miltank's another Pokemon I kind of like to use. Um, Hopefully we can take it out. Okay. Because we had the sand attack on us. And by it's kind of annoying. But what else do we have? I hadn't used a dugong before. I've used Azumarill countless times, though. I've used Hariyama too, so... Um, I mean, I've used like thousands of Fearows. Because I always would pick Fero when I played through one of these games. Because I just liked Fero more than Pidgeot. Because it evolved into its final form faster. Which made it better. 
Here we got a Snorlax. This one's going to have less HP than us because it's got Mew's HP stat. Not many things with as much HP as Snorlax, which is good for us because we can tank hits and our special defense is like through the roof. I could use some rare candies, but I don't know if I really want to. Okay, so this is Crush Kin. So it's like a black belt and a battle girl, kind of? I don't know. But you have a Sunkern and a Pidgey? Is this a joke? Is this a joke right here? Because I, I think we're gonna take both your Pokemon out really easily. Yeah, Pidgey's faster than, than Snorlax. I'm not worried at all, though. <laughs> oh no, quick attack! What are we going to do? Man, that battle gave so much experience, I'm not even kidding. Like, I've never got that much experience from a double battle before. Um, yeah, so. I say yeah, so, a lot. And we're going to take out this Metang while it goes... Paralysis instead of sleep. Okay, that's not what I wanted. But it works, I guess. As long as we don't get killed here. Scary face, but we're still faster because of the paralysis. And we finish it off. So, unless I'm missing anybody, that's all the trainers on routes 12 through 15. I think I've got them all. So, Snorlax is at 35. Um, we have... Three rare candies. We could get it up to 38, but I kind of like to save my rare candies. So, haven't really decided what I'm going to do. If I'm going to do training, it will probably be inside the mansion or the power plant, because those have the highest level Pokemon we've encountered so far. Seafoam Islands also go pretty high, too. So, I think we'll try the mansion for a little bit. And every time I try to fly, I go into summary. Alright, so Cinnabar Mansion, and then we'll already be on Cinnabar for when we take on the gym in the next episode. And after we take on the gym in the next episode, that's not going to leave very much to do, because after the gym, we go into all the uh, Sebi Island stuff, and I, that will be new to me, because I, like I mentioned, I haven't played through Leaf Green past um, the Sebi Islands, like, the farthest I've got before this is probably Lavender Town, so I haven't played very far. Just because the only copy I had didn't save. Like I mentioned, I did a review on it before. So we're going to go all the way to the basement here, because there are the highest levels there. Maybe some stuff that gives good experience. However, this Lantern and Flareon and Tentacruel are pretty good too. We could probably just sit on the first floor and be fine. But, I suppose we'll go all the way down and see if there's some good stuff there. And, I don't, I don't think I'm really going to do a montage, just because I've, I've, I've done a lot of speeding up in this series, and I kind of don't want to speed up much more than I have to. So, after we drop down here and go to the final floor, we'll see what kind of Pokemon are here. Illumise. Okay, uh, we'll use Rest. And... Now we can run. We can't flee from an Illumise. Okay? Not because we're asleep. That has nothing to do with it. We just can't flee from a little bug type. Okay, uh... Wake up with the Pokey Flute out of battle. We might have to go heal for PP, though. But I'm not concerned. Let's see, let's see what else is here. Shedinja! Okay, we can't touch Shedinja, so... And we can't flee from Shedinja. It's level 38, and Shedinja gives crap experience. Like, really bad experience. So, can't really deal with Shedinjas. Tentacruel does not give very much experience, like Tentacruel does. I say... I say just go back to the first floor of this pace, because there are better Pokemon there. Let's get one more encounter here. Smeargle. Okay. It's gonna sketch nothing. 
and then it's going to die. So yeah, we're definitely going up a floor here. Um, Raichu. Raichu's pretty nice. He's gonna go faster than us, that's for sure. Uh, but we'll take it out. Actually, after you drop down, you actually have to get out this way because you can't make it back to the first floor, I don't believe. Uh, Intimidate cuts our attack. Swagger boosts it back up, okay. And... of course. Now this compete, repeated hitting ourselves in confusion is going to take a toll on us. But I say, I say we'll get up to 38 and then we'll go out of the gym because... Not, not that it matters, but we have a fire resistance too. And an ice resistance. And... Well, Snorlax doesn't have any resistances naturally. I mean, it's immune to ghost, but no just normal resistances. So, getting two resistances because of its ability is nice, but of course that means we can get poisoned, which is not fun to deal with constantly. And we're going to take a ton of HP damage because of our poison. Um, I say we'll just go heal that, and then... I guess train on the first floor. The levels aren't quite as high, but the experience yields are better because the types of Pokemon there. Also, what did I do today? Oh yeah, I finished, uh... I thought I was gonna finish Find Me in, uh, Street Pass Me Plaza, or whatever, but... Of course, uh... The only guy I seem to tag every day, like, I have a bunch of people that are, like, level 1 and 2, and I just get the Wandering Heroes, but I have one guy that's level 7, I pass him all the time, but the problem is, he missed with his attack, and he died before I could take on the final guy, and if you've played it, the final guy has, like, 120 health, maybe 150, so it's nice to be able to do more than, like, two damage with every hit, but, I mean, you just gotta settle in some cases. Thunderbolt might do a lot. Yeah, we gotta heal Snorlax a lot, just because, just because I'm so slow, and I end up taking a lot of hits. Not really that fun to have to deal with, but we'll make it through. Okay, let's go up a floor, I suppose. Well, Tentacruel gives a lot of experience. If we can stay here and deal with Tentacruels for a while, we're in good shape. Of course, we can't take them out in one hit, so we're going to get hit twice every time we take one out, but that much experience is nice. Uh, what else do we have down here? Abra, we literally can't take that out unless we get a quick claw activation. Next up, Nidorino. Um, that will probably poison us with Poison Point. How did I know? Okay, level 37, Sleep Talk. A much better move for attacking while asleep because it uses one of your other moves at random. So it could use Yawn, or it could use Rest again, which does nothing, or it could use Headbutt slash Body Slam. I don't think I'm going to teach it, though. Um... Yeah, we'll heal this poison, and I guess we'll keep running around. Maybe find something good. Flareon. Flareon gives good experience, plus we resist its fire moves. Of course, it's not a one-hit kill either, so... And it control with sand attack, but that's more experience than Tentacruel gives. Almost there. Nidorino will probably poison us again. Probably. No, it actually doesn't. I am surprised. I am really surprised. Absol! Absol is slow, so we can take that out in one hit. Absol gives a pretty good amount of experience. Everybody likes Absol. I'd say I like it, but that's a given because it's just an awesome Pokemon. Of course, it, it's really bad in this generation, but it gets a lot better. And... Another Absol. I think uh, that's gonna be a wrap for this episode really soon. So, as soon as we hit 38, I'll go back out and heal. And that should take like two more battles. 
might be a good idea to heal my HP before then, just because I'm getting low. I don't know, I kind of want to see if I can tank it, because we do have rest to heal all that back up. Yanma, or Yanma, or whatever. It's got double team, but it'll go down in one hit. Yep. Alright, that'll do it, level 38. So, next time on Pokemon Leaf Green, Randomizer Nuzlocke. Um, well, I'm going to, uh, heal my HP because this Voltorb will probably try to go boom and we're not going to be fast enough to take it out before then. Yep, okay. Free experience there. Took an item. But next time on Pokemon Leaf Green, Randomizer Nuzlocke, now that we have Snorlax trained up, it gives us another very powerful attacker. So we're going to go take on the Cinnabar Gym. The leader is Blaine. He normally uses fire types. And I think we're pretty good on level because his highest is only 47, if, what I, if I remember right. So we'll be doing that in the next episode. I think I might stock up on some more Hyper Potions. Yeah. I see, it seems like I'm buying a lot, but I'm really not. And then full heals, we really don't have any, but they're nice to have around. Uh, we need some Matt's Repels for later. Okay, I'm stalling. Next time on Pokemon Leaf Green, we'll be taking on Cinnabar Island Gym and hopefully getting our 7th badge. So, see you guys next time.